watch this video and wonder at the marvel of AI. Let me play it. The technique which you are watching on your screen is called as tune shading. Tune shading is a crucial task within the animation industry aiming to render 3D computer generated graphics in a flat style. These techniques are extensively applied across diverse domains including video game development and animation production. As diffusion models achieve impressive performance in image synthesis, these researchers have discerned their potential in video stylization and in this research which is called as diffu tune they have explored this new type of tune shading task which aims to directly transform photorealistic videos into an animated visual style stable diffusion which is a diffusion model pre-trained on large scale text image data set has emerged as a powerful backbone in text to image synthesis in open source communities, abundant fine-tuned models based on stable diffusion are available to handle diverse styles. But extending diffusion models to video processing presents many challenges. First, there is a lack of controllability because when applying diffusion models to videos, it is really difficult to retain essential information in the original video such as the structure and lighting. Secondly, the consistency issue is crucial as independently processing each frame often leads to undesirable flickering. And thirdly, visual quality remains a concern. While video platforms commonly support resolutions up to 1080p and even 4K, most diffusion models struggle to process high resolution videos. And you can see one example here, you can see that on the left hand side, and I will play it from the start. So on the left hand side is a diffuse tool. On the right hand side is the input video. And keep looking at the video and you will see different tasks coming up. So task one is tune shading. So the prompt was best quality, perfect enemy illustration. Light a girl is dancing smile solo. Diffuse tune on the left and domo AI on the right. And then we have re-render a video. So you can already see the quality of this diffuse tune is amazing you see how good the quality is and domo ai is just very far away from the quality but this one is amazing now also um, previous studies have attempted to address these challenges which you can see right now on the right hand side in controllable image synthesis, adapter type control modules have already demonstrated the capability for precise control. But these modules are limited to um, processing individual images and cannot handle videos. And you can see that here in this example too. So to improve video consistency, studies on this topic are typically ca categorized into uh, training free and training based approaches. But there are a lot of computational resources required for that. And that is where we have this new methodology specifically designed for tone shedding. They have divided the tone shedding problem into four sub problems, stylization, consistency enhancement, structure guidance and colorization. For each sub problem, they have provided a specific solution. This proposed framework consists of a main tone shedding pipeline and editing branch in the main tone shading pipeline, they have constructed a multi-module denoising module based on an enemy style diffusion model. Control net and animate diff are utilized in the denoising model to address controllability and consistency issues. Also, to enable the generation of high ultra high resolution content in long videos, they have departed from the con conventional frame by frame generation paradigm and they have adopted a single window approach very very nicely so also their method offers a capability to edit videos through the editing branch which provides editing signals for the main tune shading pipeline and to improve the efficiency they have incorporated flash attention into the attention mechanism effectively mitigating excessive gpu memory usage they have also evaluated diffuse tune in the tune shading task and then they have evaluated the capability of editing some content according to given prompts comparative analysis 
have really put it at the very very high pedestal so in short this is a real innovative form of tune shedding aiming to release the potential of generative diffusion models in the field of non-photorealistic rendering also they have proposed an effective tone shedding approach based on the diffusion models making it possible to transform photorealistic videos into enemy style and edit the content according to given prompts if required so all in all this implementation presents a robust framework for deploying uh, for deploying diffusion models in video processing and this framework can achieve very high resolution and is capable of processing long videos so i believe that this approach is going to be uh, followed by a lot and lot of models we will be soon checking it out another good thing is that they even provide a, a colab or jupyter notebook which you can run easily there is not much to it and i will drop the link to it in video description so that you can also check it out and of course another cool thing is that you can edit the uh, they, they also have an editing branch and this approach is capable of processing high resolution long videos and can also edit the videos via the editing branch the comprehensive experiment experimental results demonstrate the efficacy of their approach very very well but diffu tune is a tune shedding pipeline method and not a general video stylization method by the way so it cannot handle other styles such as realistic oil painting and ink painting also um, there are a lot of stuff and uh, features which are in the pipeline and the more i have read it in the paper the more i feel that this is going to be a big hit very very soon and especially the pipeline and because they have divided the tune shedding task very very well anyway so that's pretty much it i'm um, very excited about this project i will drop the link to it in video description and please check it out i'm more than sure you won't be disappointed if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching amazing stuff okay so i think that's enough and i'll say goodbye now for real cheers